Um, today I have something a little different. You'll First of all, my kids are so excited to do this video. Um, they just so want to open this that um, I, my hair is still wet. I have like water from my hair on my shirt. You'll just have to excuse all of that. They just, they like super want to get this box open. So I thought I would do a little intro. Um, we are going to be unboxing a planet box today. If you're not familiar with it, I will put a link below to the website. It's just basically a, a stainless steel lunchbox. Yes, we're homeschoolers, I'll explain. Um, but it just, it has separate compartments and it makes things super fun. So I've had my eye on getting a planet box I, before we even bought this house. I don't even think we had our third child yet. I just, I've wanted one. I couldn't justify spending the money on it. But now that our lifestyles are just so active, um, we go to the barn three days a week, we go to the beach three days a week. I mean, we're super, in the summer, not right now, but we're very busy. We take a lot of road trips and we go outside to the park all the time. We have, you know, I just, I love to um, take lunch on the go. Just, and this is just like a super fun way um, to keep it exciting for the kids and to make lunch packing a little less annoying for me. Um, and even when we're home, my husband and I usually meal prep the night before, whether I'm putting a smoothie in the freezer to um, blend the next day, or packing a salad for him, or um, stacking some pasta salad cups up for him to take during the week. We um, really like to meal prep, and quite often we do pre-portion the kids' meals and allow them to um, have like an alone lunch during the school day. Um, I think that one of the things with homeschool that they do miss out on, now I don't think they miss out on a lot of social activity because we are involved in a lot of things, but one of the things that I do know that they miss out on is the chance to have that independence of a school lunch, to not have a mom hovering over them, telling them what to eat, um, and just to kind of socialize a little bit. So generally I do allow the kids to, I usually spread out a blanket on the floor or I will leave them at the table. I do check on them every now and again. But I allow them to have lunch by themselves um, and just hang out and not have me all over them. So this would be another fun way um, to do that. Now the kids have also, they've seen me leave it up on the computer and they've been excited to get these. I let them pick out the magnets for them and they have been counting down, if not more than me, that didn't make any sense. They have been counting down almost more than I have to the day that this arrives. If they knew how to use the FedEx tracking, I'm sure they would have. Every time there was a knock at the door, they were asking if it was their planet boxes. So um, without further ado, we will go ahead and open this up. Tell them what we're doing. We're opening our planet boxes today. Yeah? Do you guys remember which magnets each of your, you planet have? Planet No. No? You don't remember what magnets you, cho you chose? No. We looked no. at them for a super long time. These are mine, Mommy. One's for you. I think I remember what you guys picked. Do you? No. Oh, don't spin in that chair, please, Jess. I know Sit what down, I Eli. picked. Sit down, Eli. Let me just get this box okay. open. I think I picked Mommy. I think All right, here we go. You ready? Eli picked the train. Looks like we've got one planet box. You want to show the camera what it looks like? What, what that box looks like? Is that what the box is? Yeah. my box. Here's your box. Yes. Okay. Oh, go ahead and open up your boxes and see what they look like. Whoa. Whoa. What do you it's think? My it's box. Heavy. You want me to open it? It's heavy? Here, can I open up the pivot box? Yeah. Oh, what's inside? Um, oh, did your stick, did your magnets come inside? No, mom. I think everybody, I think, I think you're right. Let's see, whose magnets? These are magnets. Puppy dog magnets, koi fish magnets. Happy dog. Oh, wow. Look at the inside, you guys. And, and trains. You see your train magnets? Train magnets. What do you guys think? Do you want to show? Why don't you show everybody on YouTube what each of the things look like? You shouldn't take that ring out though, Izzy. I heard that that will get lost. The ring. Here, E. Let's lost. put your. Okay. Let's put your um. But the, I. Your the ring magnets. isn't fitting in here. All right, you guys. The ring won't fit. The ring won't fit back in. Yes. 
Let me see. I'm just gonna take it out. No, it's supposed to go in here, okay? Okay. It goes right in here, okay? And it keeps this from spilling. Uh, so if we take this out of the barn with scotchy, it won't spill. Look at these super cute magnets. Look at And some koi fish. So do you remember choosing these magnets, Bunny? Yeah? This I remember. All right, now look what I got for each of you guys. I got you each a set of pods. You can put special treats in there. You can put dips in there. Can we put our magnets on the box? You want to put your magnets on the box? Yeah. Sure. You don't want to put your magnets on your box? on my box. So the magnets will help us know who is who, right? No, these are not magnets. These are the pods. These are what we'll put like trail mix inside of. Okay? Trail. Peanut butter. Can you guys happy? We have these finally? Yes. All right. Came in. And then just a packing slip. Oh, yeah. And then each of the planet boxes came with one big dipper. One little dipper. I don't know, Mom. Yeah. Look at one on little the back. dipper. Look on the back. Awesome. And um, currently, if you order one, they're giving you a free set of magnets. These lunchbox pods do not come with it, but I did order one set for each of them um, with a 25% off sale that they were recently having. And um, the reason I didn't just order one set for all of them, because I don't expect to use all four of them every time. It's because they're different sizes, and I do like to do things even. So I didn't want to give one, but one person this size, one person that you know. So anyway, so that's that. I guess we are going to go ahead and show you some of our lunches this week. Do you guys like them? Yeah. You like it, buddy? You excited? You got it. Put the pods in, and we we put the stickers on. You did good. Whoa! Let's see you, Bella. All right, say bye. Bella has bye. Bella put her dog stickers on. I put my koi fish stickers mm -hmm. on, and Eli put his train stickers. Okay, okay. so ahead. here we are with our very first packed planet box lunch. Um, I, they all three have the same thing, so I'm just going to do this one. They have some organic whole milk yogurt. Um, these are some just some grapes and some local honey bells. This is um, the very berry muffin recipe from Weelicious. I'll link that below. Here is some organic chocolate um, mac. I think it's or yeah, it's chocolate macaroon because it's got coconut um, granola for them to put in their yogurt or eat separately. For my one son who chooses to do so, and I added in a few extra chocolate chips because I didn't put in like a dessert. Um, we've got some mini sweet peppers chopped up with some hummus and some crackers to dip in that hummus and some pistachios. So that is my very first packed planet box. Alright, you can open it. Ready? Go ahead, Jess. Look at this. Oh, how, oh my gosh, how cool. Look at it. Little containers, stickers in there. Uh, oh man. There's something Look in here. That. Does that come too? There's yogurt. Oh no, this found the yogurt. That's one. okay. Oh man. Chocolate granola, you can mix it in with your yogurt or you can eat it by itself. Oh no. Oh, yeah, another thing that was supposed to be in there. Boy, these are really something. I know. I need a spoon. Oh, here's the spoons. Thanks, and Grandma. And the muffin. Wait, what oranges are those? They don't look Those like are the honey bells from our field trip. Honey bells. And there's those and that and that and that. What do you think? Is it fun? That's hummus too, Bella. Yeah. Ooh, And the green. Uh, that comes. That goes inside of the. Right? Wow. 
Wow. Okay, it's Wednesday night and I just packed their lunches for Thursday. Um, they have some organic corn chips with some homemade guacamole and some salsa. I just uh, ran, I made some guacamole in my Ninja, so it's kind of extra creamy. They like it that way. They don't really like it if it's all chunky. Uh, baby bell cheese, some organic frozen blueberries, some spiralized carrots, which I don't know if you can... Spiralizer is definitely a good investment with little ones. It makes it super fun. And a Hershey's Kiss. Alright, this is the last meal that I'm kind of using as an example. This is pretty much like a standard, I think, um, just packed lunch. So, they've got some cantaloupe melon balls here. These are some organic. They're very similar to like the Pirate's Booty Cheetos. They're just organic from Aldi. Some trail mix, just some um, nuts and raisins. Um, this is a whole wheat bagel with some Greek yogurt uh, instead of mayonnaise with some organic cheese and nitrate free turkey. A half of a pickle that is um, actually local and it supports um, the 9-11 um, PTSD. <clears throat> so I will go ahead and link that below if I can find um, a website for it. Some organic grape tomatoes and a couple little um, organic Teddy Graham-ish things from Aldi. Alright, last but not least, this is just an idea of how they stack up just so perfectly. There's even room for one more right there in our fridge. Just, um, they don't take up all that much space. 